What we found here is a partial skeleton of a woolly mammoth. Unexpected discoveries are often the most outrageous ones. A couple can find an exploding river, divers can unearth human remains, archaeologists can uncover human skull tower. So let's take a look at some of the most shocking or wonderful accidental encounters ever. Volta Eel You might enjoy swimming in lakes, ocean, and sea, but after watching an eel coming out of a body of water, everyone should run because eels are known to give a shocking characteristic electric charge that can stun even humans. Electric eels can grow up to 92 inches and can produce shocks up to one amper, which is enough to light up a Christmas tree. We have a shocking clip that shows this animal has the ability to kill each and every animal, including alligators. Just look how he killed the gator. That man, if you want to take my life, I will also take yours. So beware of eels while swimming. Divers find crashed planes. People are supposed to find planes flying high in the air, but some can end up underwater as well, especially the fighter jets of World War I and World War II. A group of deep sea divers in Ohawa, Hawaii, stumbled upon the remains of an F-4U Corsair that had been used in many wars and unfortunately crashed into the ocean in 1946 due to fuel shortage. Well, that's not only it. A group of friends once went snorkeling, and they came across a crashed plane with pilots still in it, though they were ultimately turned into skeletons. The only problem I have with the clip is some loopholes. I mean, where are the clothes of the pilots? And if they were indeed drowning, why didn't they try to escape? Does it make sense to glue yourself to your seat and just die in there? Not to me. What do you guys think? Couple finds exploding river. A couple living in DeBerry, Florida were cleaning their boat after the rain near St. John's River when they filmed this amazing phenomenon. Whenever the man threw a bucket of water into the river, it exploded like mad. No one knows what that is, but my speculation says that it is some kind of fish like piroku or piranha, or maybe they are manatees. What do you guys think? Farmer Finds Mammoth Skull A farmer named James Bristle of Chelsea, Michigan was digging in his soybean field when he came across something solid in the soil. He thought that he might have discovered a completely buried fence post, but that solid thing came out to be one of the mammoth skull. Archaeologists from the University of Michigan were called in, and they spent the whole day extracting the site. Officials say that the mammoth is between 11,000 and 15,000 years old and had been butchered by early humans and left in a pond to preserve its meat. Divers find human remains. The oldest and one of the most complete human skeletons ever found. These 13,000 years old remains of a girl named Naya were discovered by a team of deep sea divers. They were snorkeling in the underwater cave networks of modern day Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula in 2007 when they came across the remains. Surprisingly, underneath the water, the cave where Naya was found was completely dry and it was estimated that she plummeted 190 feet into a pit where she died almost instantly. Thanks to her extraordinarily well-preserved remains, it is the most genetically complete human skeleton in the U.S. According to DNA studies, Naya was a genetic forerunner of modern Native Americans and died almost 13,000 years ago. Volcano Explorer Finds Blue Volcano Flaming hot red lava is a common thing. Here is Kawa Ijan Volcano for those who love blue. This rare phenomenon was captured by volcano explorer Mark Ziglot in East Java, Indonesia in August of 2015. Well, there is science behind it. High quantities of sulfuric gas and extreme pressures dazzle in blue as soon as it comes in contact with the air outside and can only be captured during the darkness of night. Biologist Spot Mermaid Whenever a group of marine biologists goes on a sea expedition, they do expect a lot of new species to encounter. 
but a mermaid is usually never on the list. But this group of experts went 3,000 feet deep in the ocean on their submarine. <laughs> when several members of the team heard and saw a creature who looked like a mermaid. Well, the creature was caught on tape as well and took a look at the short glimpse of the creature. Let's slow the clip for you. Here, watch it now. <laughs> the clip is not computer generated and no human can survive this deep in such high pressures of water. So what are your thoughts after watching the clip? Is that really a mermaid? Exploration vessel finds shipwreck. A 200 years old shipwreck was found by a US government exploration vessel in the Gulf of Mexico. They stumbled upon the wreck when they were testing their drones in the ocean. It appeared on the sonar of a remotely operated vehicle. It was estimated to be 124 feet tall and was made in the 19th century. Researchers estimated that a fire must have nearly engulfed the ship before it sank. That scenario could also explain the lack of any artifacts and possessions from the ship's decks. Showbill. A mythical bird from movies is here in the world of reality. The whale head named Bird is seen in Africa, the country of wilds. I make a sound like construction or a machine gun, while people will fight with each other on guessing whether it is a machine gun or a shoe bill. This one was found in a park of Japan making a sound of machine gun. It is a good way for psychological war. Hmm. Anyways, this scary bird attacks in rare situations. Archaeologists found a tower of human skulls. Archaeologists have found a new section of the Aztec skull tower in which 115 new skulls have been found. The tower is almost 500 years old and is bigger and more terrifying than the scientists previously thought it was. According to the findings uncovered in 2015, the new results add 119 skulls to the previously known 484 by raising a total of 603 skulls stacked on top of one another to erect this terrifying tower. It was thought that the skeletons were the remains of dead army warriors, but recent studies have determined that some skulls belong to women and children. It is speculated that they belong to people sacrificed for some ritual practices. Neighborhood filled with spiders. Imagine going to sleep and then waking up to the fields of dense white spider web coating the landscape as far as one can see in the morning. This is exactly what happened. Spider rain is a phenomenon that happens when large groups of spiders migrate all at once using a technique called ballooning. They will spin out dozens of silk strands at once to form a triangular parachute, allowing the clever critters to catch a breeze toward new ground. By the way, this kind of events happen like a reverse parachute, and before falling back down to earth, the spiders will fling themselves into the wind and rise up with a draft on the back of their silk webs. This unusual event happened in Australia, and such ballooning events occurred in the UK and USA as well. Hikers find polar princess's head. Well, found near the Arctic Circle by some hikers, this mummy was named Polar Princess for being so well preserved. Her hair is still intact after 900 years of being mummified, which is incredible. She is estimated to be around 35 years old when she died and is the only woman buried around almost three dozen men in a burial ground. Archaeologists are baffled why she is the only adult female found in the necropolis in an all-male burial. It could mean she was an elite member of her society. Well, today's open discussion has an amazing backstory, so we won't reveal what it is till we tell you the story. Once there was a simple farmer in Nevada who wanted to drill a well to extract water for his fields, but he noticed that the water temperature was too high to dig out. 390 degrees Fahrenheit at times. In 1964, special equipments were used to extract the water, but drilling was impossible given the high temperature. But then a water geyser erupted. The geyser was very unique given not only the temperature of the water, but the mountains as well that started to grow around it. 
we are not baffling. It was called Fly Ranch Geyser. I mean, it is still known as Fly Ranch Geyser and nothing less than a wonder on Earth. The size, the color, the view it made in the middle of the desert was simply amazing, and the landscape looked as if it came straight out of a fairy tale. Woman Finds a Bear in Car Well, time for a hilarious entry. Bears are notorious invaders, and this time, a bear broke into a car. When the woman came back to her car, she was frightened to hell, but more frightened than the lady was the bear who ran away at first instant. Toto Bird If you hear a strange voice of a bird, which you usually hear in horror games and movies, it is a Poto Bird. Well, these are similar to owls as they also haunt at night. This clip was captured in Brazil when a ghost bird started singing at the tree bark, probably near a house. It seems to be recorded from a window. I think that person also tried to sing like the bird but it wasn't a good one. Have you seen a potu bird before? Pawnee Frogmouth A bird with a mouth like a frog. Never heard this before? In this video, someone just heard a sound from the lily pilly tree in the backyard. The person went out to search for what it was. Upon reaching, he found a tawny frogmouth bird that was probably scaring away the territorial bird by making reptile sounds. Now I understand why that person got worried. Well, again, it might be a relief to see a bird instead of encountering a reptile in the backyard. Thorny Dragon Lizard Lizards are a reptile species that still exist in the world, but these species also have a rare type in Australia, and that is a thorny dragon lizard. This devil is full of horn structures from head to toe. It can grow up to 21 centimeters and is one of the endangered species on Earth. In the past, it was being killed as it was considered to be a bad threat. Poor creature is now only available in Australia. star Nose Mole America has a lot of mysterious stuff, but this one is a bit funny. In this video, we have a mole with a star on its nose. It seems to be like a bat, tiny spider, or a starfish that is stuck on the nose. This is mostly found in the northern part of North America. Well, it's actually a blessing in disguise because they are blind and the star guides them about their prey. It's like the Polaris star of the northern hemisphere. Aww. Gumboot Chiton. This species is found in the Pacific Ocean and is mostly seen underwater in lake streams and in damp places. Chitin is harmful only for algae. Its metallic tooth scratch the algae from rocks or from a surface, and that's what it eats. Do you know that it can grow up to 36 centimeters and can weigh up to six pounds? That's cool. Have you seen a gum boot chitin before? Draco Volant. Dragons are common in princess stories as an evil, which lives near or in the castle. Well, we are here to show you that the myth is no more a myth, because we have an animal called Draco Volans. They cannot blow fire, but it flies and has wings like a dragon. Look how beautifully it opens the wings and dives in the air. Well, this is found in the tropical rainforest. I wonder if there is a castle near the rainforest. Well, share your experience with this little creepy reptile in the comment section. Magnificent Frigate Bird Birds always have a special feature. It is either their flying style, voice, or any other way to be unique. You might have seen a bird with a balloon, but wait a minute. It is a frigate. It usually has a red balloon under the beak. Now another fact is that red balloons are for males, and it is quite attractive. It is mostly found in tropical and subtropical regions. That's interesting. Mysterious Dog While walking on the road, you can see many dogs roaming around. Some of them will chase you too, but we are here with a clip where an animal rescue team saved a mysterious dog who seems to be scared and was probably out in the rain. But the team is confused that whether it is a dog or a coyote. They also saw some white hair and named it a mystery dog. I think they will come to know it, what it is when it is dry. What do you guys think it is? A poor dog or a coyote? 
comment your guesses in the comment box. Emperor Tamarin. Monkeys are good at copying people, but this one went so far. You might remember the trainer in Kung Fu Panda. Well, we have it in reality. In this clip, we are here with Willem II. Um, actually, no, it's not him. But this monkey does look similar to that German emperor. I think it looks more similar to you from Rush Hour, but without a beard. It can grow up to nine to 10 inches, and its tail can grow up to 16 inches. That's cool. Well, you can find it in South America. Who do you think it relates to? Drop your comments. Weird goat. Goats are common in farms and agricultural lands, but this one is weird. Well, this is a Damascus goat, which was seen in Syria and Lebanon and is used for milk production. A male Damascus was captured with abnormal height. Well, it's rare and freaking. If you look closely, it seems like an old grumpy grandpa with lots of wrinkles but it is probably a hybrid. Have you seen such weird goats before? Two-faced calf. Conjoined twins are very common in humans. Either of them has to sacrifice for the existence of others, but this time it's about animals, and we have a calf born with two heads. These probably seem to be conjoined calves. They have two noses, two mouths, and four eyes. Unfortunately, they are unable to walk, and the estimated lifetime of such calves is 40 days. I hope that they have lived long and healthy lives. Have you seen any conjoined animals? This picture was sent by one of our subscribers who wanted to know about this mysterious creature. Well, after watching so many unusual and mythical creatures, it is really hard to say whether it is a CGI or a real creature. But let's burst the bubble. It is a weird art sculpture exhibited in Germany's art exhibition. The artist wanted to give it off as a human, pid and fish hybrid. What do you guys think it looks like? Cereal leaf beetle. Beetles are mostly considered to be like ladybirds with black spots, but we have a unique beetle that is mostly seen in Europe and Asia. Well, in this clip, we have a larva of it, and it looks quite strange, as it seems to have many worms inside an invisible shell. An interesting fact about it is that it is considered to be a severe pest of wheat and oats. Not only this, but they have a short larvation period of a maximum of two weeks. Wow, now that's amazing. Well, I hope these might not destroy the crops, as it will affect the import exports. That's all for today's video. Comment your favorite part in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.